Today we're making my favorite type of craft, edible food craft. I'm excited. What's Easter without chocolate and peeps? Hi, my name is Ray Pohar and welcome to Get Crafty Crafty. Today we'll be making our first edible craft project, chocolate balloon bowls. It's not necessarily a project that is just for Easter, but it's something that you could actually enjoy year round. I figured since my last two videos were about egg decorating, why not make a project for Easter that involved chocolate? Because what's Easter without a little bit of chocolate? Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a small plate, scissors, a small balloon, some melted chocolate, Today I'm using Ghirardelli, parchment paper, or wax paper, and some things you'll fill your bowl up with. First, we're gonna blow up our balloon. You don't wanna have a balloon that's too big, since the bigger the balloon, the harder it's gonna be to actually cover in chocolate. This balloon is about two and a half to three inches wide. Once you've blown up your balloon, set it aside. Next, we're gonna prep our chocolate. Once you've melted your chocolate, you want to let it sit and cool for a good 5 to 10 minutes or maybe even longer depending on how hot your chocolate is. You don't want your chocolate to be too hot since the heat from the chocolate could cause your balloon to pop. Next, you're going to take your balloon and gently coat the bottom half with chocolate. Dip it into the chocolate and gently roll it around. Once you've covered the lower half of your balloon in chocolate, gently take it out and you're gonna place it on top of your parchment paper and plate. Once you've given your balloon its first coat of chocolate, you're gonna let this sit and rest in the refrigerator. After your chocolate bowl has set in the refrigerator, gently peel it off of the parchment paper and tap to see if it's hardened. Once your chocolate has hardened, you're gonna repeat the process by re-dipping it into the chocolate again to create another layer. You're gonna repeat this about two to three times to create a thick layer of chocolate on your bowl. The more times you do this, the harder uh, chocolate you'll have on your bowl. After applying your second layer of chocolate, Place your balloon onto the parchment paper and then set this aside in the refrigerator again for another five to 10 minutes. Once you've applied all the layers of chocolate onto your Easter egg and it's hardened, you're gonna go ahead and start popping your balloon. I applied three layers of chocolate, which gave it a really thick shell. To do this, make a small hole at the top of your balloon. You don't want to let all the air out at one time so that the shell won't suddenly collapse. Let out a small amount of air and gently let the balloon deflate. After you've taken the balloon out, you'll have your thick uh, chocolate bowl. I used three layers on mine so it's Surprisingly really thick. Now comes the fun part. I get to add all this stuff into my bowl. I add a brownie, some mint chocolate chip ice cream, M&Ms, and since it's Easter, a yellow peep. And that is my chocolate Easter bowl. You can make this year round. It's not something that you have to make just for Easter. Make it throughout the year whenever you feel like you wanna have a chocolate egg bowl. Well, not a chocolate bowl, a chocolate balloon bowl. Thanks for watching Get Crafty Crafty. Come back next time to see what our next project is. Uh, check out our two Easter egg videos. Check out the um, update video about Comic-Con. Let me know what I should dress up for Comic-Con in those comments. Remember to check us out on Facebook. And thanks for watching this week's episode. 
I'm gonna rush because this ice cream is melting and I'm gonna eat it now before it's a puddle of ice cream. Take care.